Have you ever thought of running a successful business or how do you go about starting one? Do you have what it takes? Maybe you've read about a couple of things such as a business plan, financial statements, franchising, investors, and you thought it's just too complicated for me. Well, wonder no more. My name is Mzwandi Lengubeni and this is Game Plan, the show that turns business and entrepreneurs into a fun and engaging game. Each week, groups of aspiring entrepreneurs will compete against one another with their knowledge of business as their ultimate weapon. They will do this under the watchful eye of our judges. Let's meet our judges. Hi, my name is Paikisu Sotezi, and I'm the co-founder of The Hookup Dinner, a sub-Saharan network of connected startup entrepreneurs which come together for three core values to engage, connect, and contribute to each other's success. Hi, my name is Nicolette Chinomona, and I am a business creativity coach with Spark Ideas Courses. I help entrepreneurs answer the question, why should somebody buy from me and not someone else? Hi, my name is Andy Kumalo, founder of Andy Torch, a PR marketing and digital communications company. We offer above and below PR services for entrepreneurs, SMMEs, and executives. Each episode features two teams of three members. To claim a win, teams have to survive their opponents over three rounds of games, each made up of a unique category. Refer to our website for more details on how you can become a national game plan champion. So, over the next 26 weeks, They'll have to outperform, outthink, survive the competition, and be the last team standing. For more information, visit sabceducation.co.za forward slash game plan. It's time for us to meet our teams. First up, Team A. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Good, Good thing. Good you scared? Yeah. <laughs> Excited? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's start by firstly introduce yourself to all our viewers. Well, I'm Palace Mariva, uh -huh. and I'm from Johannesburg. I'm currently studying at EFTA, but one of my goals is to open a media house. Nice, big dream. <laughs> um, I'm Prudence Mahumani, and I live in Johannesburg, and I want to open my own production company. Oh, nice. I'm Nakara Mavoso, I'm also from Johannesburg, yeah. and I'd like, I'd like to go into investment. <laughs> and that's Team A, everybody. Moving on to the other side. San Bonani Dumela. Introduce yourself to all our viewers. Mketiwe Pagati, co founder of a natural hair specialist salon called Mianvelo, and managing director of a facilitation specialist company called Right Click. Welcome, welcome. Thank welcome. you. Um, Baba Lelo Maroma from Limpopo, but currently staying in Krukastop. I'm studying mechanical engineering. My game plan is to open a beauty spa. Nice, nice game plan. <laughs> I'm Mamsi Namane. Um, I'm a co-founder of Ngemvelo Afro Only Specialist Salon. Um, and I'm also the sales and marketing manager oh. at Rightlick, yeah. a facilitation specialist company. No, I can see probably in your beauty spa, you bought bodyguards, eh? They're looking up at the bodyguards, eh? It's very, very nice. No, 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 it's all right. That's the game plan. That's the game plan. That's the game plan. Now, today's theme is identifying a gap. Every business exists as an answer or a solution to a need from the market, which means before starting your own business, you have to have an identified gap. Contestants, I can see you ready to go. We're ready. So basically, let's kick off by this. Every house, every business has rules. Let's check out our game plan house rules. This is the game plan. Each team is tested on their general knowledge of the subject matter. The questions are a combination of multiple choice and true or false. Each team will have 10 seconds to answer a question. Each correct answer earns them a point. It is important that teams accumulate as much points as possible. They will need them in the end. Entrepreneurs, good luck. Contestants, it's time for us to play our game one. Team A, we will start with you. Remember, you have 10 seconds to answer the question. Your question, which is not a definition of a gap in the market? A, new invention. B, discounting goods. C, refreshing your products or services. Your time starts now. Time 
Time's up. I need an answer. B. Discounting goods. B. Discounting goods is the correct answer. Well done. Team B, your question is, true or false? Gaps in the market can be taken advantage of by only start-up or new businesses. True or false? Your time starts now. I need an answer. False. False is the correct answer. Well done. Team A, your question is, the research process that involves gathering new data that has not been collected before is called A, elementary research, B, principal research, C, primary research. Your time starts now. Time's up, I need an answer. Um, C, primary research. C, primary research is the correct answer. Well done. There are two types of market research. the secondary market research and primary market research. Well done. Team B, true or false? Information collected about opinions and views is called quantitative, quantitative data. True or false? Your time is up. I need an answer. It's true. True is incorrect. The answer is false. Opinions and views is information that cannot be measured and written down with numbers and is referred to as qualitative data. Team A, the people that you are selling your product or service to are A, a target group, B, a target market, C, Value Network. Your time starts now. I need an answer. It's B, Target Market. It's B, Target Market. You're absolutely correct. Team B, true or false? Desk research involves gathering existing data that has already been produced. True or false? Your time starts now. I need an answer. It's true. Correct, it is true. Well done, that ends out our game plan first round. What is also true is that we'll see you after the break. Welcome back. You're watching Game Plan on SABC2. Now, earlier on, our teams battled it out in game one. And the leading team at the moment is Team A with 15 points. It's now time to play game two right here on Game Plan. And this is a task challenge delivered by our esteemed judges. Over to you, judges. Thank you so much, Ms. Wandile. So basically on this team, you guys need to give us tactics and strategies on how to identify the gap in the market. And once you've identified the gap in the market, you need to tell us the how do you actually implement those tactics and strategies. When we're talking about a gap in the market, we're talking about trying to figure out what goods or services are not actually available in the market and then figuring out how you as an entrepreneur can start a business that fulfills that need. But you are going to be given clues, so it won't be that difficult for you. We will then be judging you guys on how you articulate yourselves, creativity, and teamwork. So good luck to you. Contestants, you received your task from our judges. Please remember that at the end of this task, you will have to select a member who will present back on behalf of your team. Your time starts now. Good luck. This is the game plan. Each team is tested on their research, teamwork, and presentation skills. Both teams have 30 minutes to do their task. 
Each of the three judges will score them on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the worst and 10 the best. Their scores will be combined to total 30 points. Remember, entrepreneurs, in every business, teamwork and creativity is vital. Good luck. And time up. Time up. Pens down, pens down, team B, pens down, team A, pens down. <laughs> How was that for you, team A? <laughs> challenging. That challenging. was really hard. That was, was hard. really hard. It was yeah. challenging. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. All right, team B. How was that for you? It was possible with Dodo if we could use the same word <laughs> twice. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and the time was, was short. Time. So the time was, was small. Yeah. But the, look, these are the challenges of entrepreneurship, uh, <laughs> judges. It's time for you guys to select who will be representing you. Team A, who do you choose? Noxie. Nox. Yeah. Noxie? Yeah. Team B, who do you choose? Ketiwe. Ketiwe. Right. Team B, we're going to start with you guys. You have the lower points uh, from game one. Good luck. Thank you. Um, our primary research also includes asking members of the public to complete surveys, for example, surveys using questionnaires or interviews with groups of people in focus groups. This kind of research is also called secondary research. One of the drawbacks of this research is that it is time consuming and secret. Desk research involves gathering existing data that has already been produced, for example, researching the internet, newspapers and company reports. This kind of research is also called field research. Research. One of the advantages of this kind of research is that it is cost effective. Factual information is also called theory data. Now, information collected about opinions and views is called qualitative data, and accurate market research is what helps to reduce the risk of business failure when launching new or improved products. And market research helps the business to identify the gaps in the market. Well done. You're out of time, but uh, you were done there just before. Just before. Time, your time starts now. Pitch to your job. <laughs> Gap's research includes asking members of the public to complete surveys. For example, surveys using questionnaires or interviews with groups of people in a startup group. This kind of research is called primary research. One of the drawbacks of this research is that it is time consuming and blocking. Okay, so now secondary research involves gathering existing data that has already been produced. For example, researching the internet, newspapers and theory papers. This kind of research is sometimes called field research. One of the advantages of this kind of research is that it is cost effective. Factual information is called quantitative data. Information collected about opinions and views is called qualitative data. Accurate market research... Time, you are out of time. Our contestants are done with their task challenge by our judges. It's now time for our judges to deliberate on the presentations. Over to you, judges. Everyone thinks running a business is easy. You have just seen how hard it can be to pitch your business. Remember, 12 points are at stake for each team. Who will it be? We'll see you after the break. You know the game plan is well and truly underway when the likes of myself start feeling like a business guru. Before the break, our teams pitched the results of their task to the judges. Who did enough to impress our judges and who is staring at the prospect of elimination? Before we find out, our judges have some important words for our contestants. Thank you so much, Team A and Team B, for participating on the challenges that we had given to you. As we had initially said, that we'll judge you based on confidence, how you present yourself, and also on the teamwork. All right, um, we got very different answers from both groups, which is to be expected, considering that you both come from different fields. But what we were really looking to see from you as future entrepreneurs was if you really understood what it means to identify a gap in the market and actually capitalize on it. Unfortunately, because this is a game, they can be only one winner. Congratulations once again to both teams. 
Like we said, what we did see is teamwork. We saw you guys talking to one another. We saw you guys engaging with, e with each other. And I think it's worthy of us just giving you the scores. So, Team A, you guys got six points out of 12. And Team B, you guys got eight points out of 12. And we arrived to that conclusion simply because we felt that Team B articulated themselves well. They, 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 they understood the value proposition that they were putting on the table. And with Team A, we felt that you were not serious enough. How you presented and articulated yourself in front of us was not adequate enough. And that's how we got to that conclusion. Mm -hmm. So basically, when we talk about identifying a gap for people who do not know exactly what that means, in case you do not have a business background, we're basically saying, look for a problem to solve in a community, you know, um, in a market. What are people's pain points? What are people frustrated about? You can find gaps in a market by listening to what people's complaints are. For instance, you could, in your own community, just look around, listen, see what some of the issues are. As an example, I know there are a lot of um, smaller companies that have gotten into garbage collection in areas in which, you know, the city is failing to collect the rubbish. So there are people with their trucks and, you know, they drive past, they're like, hey, you know, would you like us to pick up your rubbish? That is an example of actually, um, you know, identifying a gap. Um, personally, in my experience, I'm a business creativity coach, and what it was for me was to say, there's so many entrepreneurs and people who are jumping into business, and then their businesses fail, but they thought the idea was so great. But there wasn't anyone to say, your idea is not that great. What's gonna make you special? What's gonna make you different from everyone else? So for me, the gap in the market was, I'm gonna focus on helping people develop their ideas, basically solve a problem. Let's thank our judges for those important lessons. Contestants, it's now time for Do or Die. This is the part of the competition where your knowledge and decision-making can be the difference between the beginning of your game plan dream or the end of it. Are you ready to play our Do or Die game? Yes. Here are your house rules. Ginako ya Do or Die, either you're in or out. The questions are a combination of multiple choice and true or false. Each team must act and must act fast. The fastest to hit the buzzer gets to answer. The correct answer earns our teams more points. This is the game that can change your game plan. Please listen to the entire question before buzzing for your answer. Don't just buzz. Listen. Pagisa entrepreneurs, Good luck. Contestants, it's do or die time. And here goes the game. True or false? A patent is a sign capable of distinguishing the goods or services of one enterprise from those of other enterprises. True. 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 That is incorrect. True or false? LSM is an acronym for Lifestyle Mead in South Africa. Team B. False, it's living standards measured. Correct. Moving on to the next question. One of the easiest ways to assess the health and sustainability of a business is by A, making sure that the business and its surrounding is in good condition. B, looking at its financial performance. C, ensuring that there is an acceptable amount of target areas. A, B, or C. Team A. B. B, you're correct. Looking at its financial performance. Next question. How differentiated your product or service is refers to A, monopoly control, B, basis of product, C, unique structure. Team B. C. C is incorrect. The answer is A, monopoly control. 
Next question. LLC is an acronym for A. Lucrative Liability Care B. Limited Liability Company C. Limited Lucrative Company A, B or C? Team A. E. B is correct. Limited Liability Company. Moving on to the next question. In order for an idea to be a real business opportunity, the idea must have A, a professional looking website. B, sound exciting. C, match a customer need. D, have a TV commercial. C. C is correct, Team B. A consumer need. Why does a business create a unique selling point for a product? A, to design the look of packaging. B, to set the product's price. C, to gain a competitive advantage. D, to beef up its reputation. Time? C. C is indeed the correct answer to gain a competitive advantage. Next question. Designing products to meet the demand from consumers is called A. Consumer push. B. Consumer pull. C. Consumer drive. D. Consumer demand. Team A. D. Consumer demand. Team A, that answer is incorrect. The answer is B. Consumer pool. That's the end of our do or die game. Let's find out the scores for this round. Team A, you are sitting at 10 points. Team B, you are sitting at seven points. It's time to deliver our final points and find out who is the winner of the game plan for today. And Team B, you are sitting at 27 points. Team A, sitting at 31 points, which means you are our winners. Congratulations, Team A. Today we learned that a gap in the market is a need that customers have a service or a product. By being vigilant and researching your market, you can identify the gap, which can become your gateway towards your successful business. Congratulations to our winners for today, Team A. Well done, Team B. Thank you very much for playing with us. Judges, thank you for your words of wisdom. See you next week right here on SABC2. This is Game Plan. Bye-bye. <laughs>